Welcome to part two. In this video, I will be going over the bone positioning and setup. So, the first thing to make note of is that nothing from this model rigging is usable. Unfortunate, but face rig has different method for animating your avatar, so we have to recreate everything. We can at least keep the bones, but we need to rename every single one because the uploader script can't handle having periods in the bone name. Unfortunately, again, with the way face rig wants them named, Blender doesn't track the left and right side movements for mirroring, so if you want the bones mirrored, you'll need to keep the .r and .l names until you're done positioning them, and then change it. To turn on bone mirroring, click the armature and go to edit mode, then go to the tool panel on the right and check the x-axis mirror box. With that being said, you need to rename all of your bones to remove any periods that they have in them, otherwise it will error with whatever that error is. Look in the documentation for what FaceRig wants you to name them as. They have a big hierarchy list at the bottom of the old documentation around page 10 that shows you. In the updated documentation, you only need four bones named specifically, and can name the rest whatever you want, as long as there are no periods, but I just went with their naming to keep it consistent. The four mandatory bones are Camera, Bip Head, Bip Li, and Bip Ri. I'm just making a note of it now, but we can save the bone renaming for later once we're done. Now we get to the fun part! FaceRig uses animations instead of visemes, so in order to get your character's face to move, you need to add face bones and rig them. We can still use the jawbone from VRChat, but we will need to add more. A lot more. Before you start, just like in VRChat, I suggest separating your mesh by loose parts so it's easier to rig the bones and not have it spill over to areas you don't want. Do this by opening the cats menu on the right side and clicking separate by loose parts. Don't group anything together yet. There's a specific way we need to do it later to help the upload process. In total, you need anywhere from three to five or more each of left cheek, right cheek, left eyebrow, right eyebrow, upper eyelid, lower eyelid, left mouth top, right mouth top, left mouth bottom, right mouth bottom, and tongue. There are more, but that's what I started with. More bones are better because that gives you more control of the movement. Each one of those will need to be named, positioned, and rigged, so you can now see why I hated this process. <laughs> to start with adding our bones, click on the armature and on the top left, go to the drop down and switch to edit mode. Now go to add and single bone. On the right side, go to the bone icon in the menu and name it what you want, then add either .l or .r, whatever side of the face you're working on. Then resize and reposition it to the spot you want it. Once that one is roughly in position, while it's still selected, either right click and select duplicate or hit shift D on your keyboard to create another, and then position that one. Then continue doing that until you have all of them on one half of the face. Now select all of them together and duplicate the whole lot. Make sure you didn't accidentally select any other bones. The dialog on the bottom left has a checkbox that says flip names after you click to drop them. Check that box and it will automatically mirror the face for you. Now go back and position each bone to get them exactly where you want. When you're done creating the bones for your face, parent them to the head by clicking the bone you want to parent or the selection of bones, then clicking the head bone. Then go to Armature, Parent, and select Keep Offset. Otherwise, it will move your bone right up into the head bone instead of leaving it as is. For the lower lip bones, you want to parent them to the jaw instead of the head. And before I forget, if your model has two sets of eye bones, then delete one of the pairs so that you only have one. Lastly, you need to add the camera bone, so once again go to add, single bone, then position it towards the head like this to get the angle you want. Once the bones are positioned, you are ready to weight paint, so go ahead to part 3.